dear friends there has been a lot of study on different kind of personalities be it ambiguity i or ef16 there are so many kind of tools which distinguish different kind of personalities and help us to understand but i am producing a original one and uh, i have distinguished the personalities into eight kind of things starting from the least kind of that is called as precipitation people falling in precipitation kind of personality are very condensed they are always on limits of either side they lose hope very easily and normally are in guilt kind of situation their confidence is very low and they are highly emotional either they would be on the bottoms or they would be on the top of the enthusiasms and in most of these kind of people you will find into laborers housewives and children they are very light mooded kind of people and with very less thought a lot of mood swing may be noted in these kind of people and that's why they are not able to focus and proceed further in life the next kind of personality is respiration type of personality these are people who are very comforted are calm and want to work at their own ease they are very shell bound if you go with a task to them they will say that let me have some breathing time first so these kind of people also are normally into blue collar kind of jobs the third one is separation kind of people these people are very disconnected or disengaged they want to separate others from the goals so that they may have their own importance they are very divisional and they want to gain power by this they are very selfish mean and they have always their internal goals they never bother what is the common goal or what is right for society the fourth personality is perspiration kind of personality these people are very effort making they want to have an attempt they keep on trying they are directed by others but their intent is very clear and that is to make efforts they are very good followers and most of the times good foreman uh, good executives at initial stage who are uh, very inspiring for other people and who can make difference to your work are of these kind the fifth personality is desperation kind of people they are very hopeless demoralized and downhearted they are ambitious thoughtful but lose confidence in midway these people will have great ideas but at execution they fail the sixth personality is participation kind of personality they are a very contributive they believe in sharing involvement they are cheerful jolly kind of nature they have they are ambitious thoughtful and they have confidence but certain times they lose confidence they are always more productive when they are in team these kind of people can achieve anything with cohesive kind of work the seventh personality is preparation kind of personality 
these people are more involved in training in grounding research kind of work they are ambitious thoughtful confident but they are intrinsic personality on one's own they can do anything but avoid in team they become restless and they cannot perform much as they are not as much sharing they cannot share space with other but they are very good for the research work so the eighth personality is aspiration kind of personality these people are very hopeful ambitious eager striving to achieve they are cheerful and jolly they are very ambitious thoughtful confident and these are having a peculiarity of being extrinsic they are having capability to move masses most of the times these kind of people are into the rules where people orientedness or mass communication is an important part for example those people who are involved in marketing business development and such kind of things the higher version of the aspiration kind of personality is charismatic personality these people become very good leaders dear friends this was just a brief understanding what i have taken from my experience for last 10 years i have interviewed almost 5000 kind of people and have interacted directly with around 2000 kind of people and governed them so uh, seeing all these things i can say that any kind of personality is not a bad personality all are part of society but yes different traits make them very peculiar for different kind of works or uh, if you see that these particular traits are available you can rely upon them in certain things and cannot rely upon them on certain things this will certainly help you to have a good connect with people and proceed in better manner for example if a person who is having different traits of visualizing the things uh, if connecting the dots and kind of things and who is good communicator as well certainly he is going to be a good leader but if a person who is very intrinsic kind of person who is having a lot of mood swings and those kind of things he cannot be relied upon to lead a team at the same time if a person is very thoughtful and all those kind of things along with good preparation good kind of analytical skills uh, is available but he is not a good communicator he is good for research work uh, independent work can be relied upon but at the same time he cannot lead the teams so these are some inputs which may be very fruitful to the people who are managing the organizations and if you like this video i would just request you to like it subscribe it and forward further so that people may get benefit of this thank you